Hey everyone, welcome in to a, another daily editorial here on the KE Report. We are getting an update from Labrador Gold, traded on the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol LAB, and on the OTCQX under the symbol NKOSF. I am chatting with the President and CEO Roger Moss. Now Labrador Gold is focused at the Kingsway property in Newfoundland. Uh, the company did just release news April 19th announcing a new discovery near surface gold at this midway target. This midway target is about 2.7 kilometers north of the Big Vein area. That's where a lot of the drilling has been done, a lot of high grade that we're seeing at Big Vein. This gold discovery at midway highlight hole intersected a little over three and a half grams per ton gold over six meters including almost six grams per ton gold over three meters. Roger, let's start off with this discovery. What surprised you? What was expected about the drill results from Midway, please? Okay, Corey, yeah, thanks. It's uh, it's good to be back to, to chat about some more results that uh, coming out of Kingsway. Midway has been something that we've been curious about for some time really because of our focus on the Appland Fault and uh, especially Big Vein uh, along that fault, we hadn't really had the, had, had the ability to, um, to tackle Midway. When we increased the number of drill rigs to five, it was always our intention to have one of those drill rigs work more regionally on the property and so that gave us uh, that gave us the the opportunity to go over and target target midway, where we did have uh, anomalous anomalous gold in the gabbros that we see there at at midway. And I think were we surprised? Uh, well, we were happy with the intersection. I, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I wouldn't say we were surprised at it. It it's really interesting from our perspective because it's it's quite different from the style of mineralization that we see at Big Vein and elsewhere along the Appland Fault. So in my mind, that's, that's a really, a really key, key thing that we, that we see here at Midway. Uh, take us through what the significance could be of this different mineralization, because one of the bullet points that is outlined here in that news release is that the new discovery at Midway, a long strike from the Cracker Gold occurrence, opens up a potential second gold mineralized system sub-parallel to the Appleton Fault Zone. This is new information, so expand on that a little bit, please. Yeah, well, you know, these gabbros occur throughout the, throughout the project area, and uh, as you pointed out, Cracker is, I think it's about a kilometer and a half northeast along strike from from midway and the cracker is is a historical gold showing it's been known for some time and uh, some of the historical work that was been done there pulled out uh, grab samples up to about 65 grams per ton um, and, and and numerous numerous samples in the sort of 10 to, to 30 40 grams per ton range all being grab samples mind you and um, we we haven't really looked at that in any detail either. There are also, in the district as a whole, GABRA-hosted gold mineralization occurrences. And so there's something here, I think, that needs some more attention. If my suspicions are correct in saying that we could have an entire new gold, gold mineralized system, Midway and Cracker would be part of that hopefully we'll be able to identify more gold mineralization in Gabros along strike to the north northeast of Cracker and to the southwest of Midway. And in fact, down to the southwest of Midway, we already have some more gold anomalies in those Gabros. So the potential here, which is, which is really, really exciting, is uh, that we have these Gabros going from the southern boundary of the property pretty well right across the property up to the north end. If they are consistently mineralized, then uh, that's going to be very significant. Okay, so it sounds like that's going to be the focus of drilling coming up for 
this potential new area, new mineralized zone. Take us through what kind of follow-up work you're going to need to do here. Well, I think right now we, we have been drilling at uh, Midway. This, as I mentioned in the news release, this is the third hole that we've drilled there. The other two holes are still, we're still waiting assays from them. We have a total of 10 planned at Midway right now. Uh, we don't have any planned at Cracker, but um, what we need to do and we'll start doing in the coming weeks is to get out along that, what I'm going to call the Gabbro trend and do a lot of prospecting and mapping and seeing if some of, some of those other Gabbros that occur along strike and also in between Cracker and, and Midway are actually mineralized with gold. So again, it's it, it will be the same kind of of strategy that we focused along the Appleton fault zone, but in this case, it's going to be focused along a a separate zone. This this uh, this Gabbro trend. Have we seen any of this kind of mineralization from any of your neighbors? Anybody else in Newfoundland that you have seen hit this type of Gabbro mineralization or these zones? There is gold mineralization in Gabros uh, in, in a number of different places in Newfoundland. Uh, I know that uh, Exploits Discovery was looking at Jonathan's Pond. I think they had uh, gold mineralization in Gabro. Just to the north of Kingsway, we have, um, we have more mineralization in Gabro at uh, Duda Lake. And immediately south, we have, uh, there, there is mineralization, gold mineralization in, in Gabro at uh, the Virginia property. So it does occur on, on the island. And it, in fact, I, I believe that Anaconda Mining is actually mining uh, gold mineralization in Gabros out at Bay Vert. So like I said, they're not, they're not spectacular high grade mineralization necessarily. But uh, if you can put enough of it together, especially near surface like this, then I think it becomes a very interesting target. Roger, simplify for everybody following this story what the potential is here of all these discoveries that have been made on the project so far with Big Vein and the extension of the Big Vein discovery. Now with Midway and the last time we chatted, which was earlier on this month, we are talking about the Golden Glove target, which is going to be drilled. That's on the east side of the fault. And you even outlined the pristine target. There's a lot of potential more discoveries in here. Recap the discoveries already made and what could be on tap for more discoveries, please. Yes, you're absolutely right, Corey. I mean, there, there's a lot of smoke here. And, and you know, we, we, we're on fire at, 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 uh, at Big Vein. Yeah, Big Vein was the first discovery. We made that back in 2020. That was a... a a boulder of quartz vein with visible gold in it that um, that has sort of gone on to become our, our main target and uh, from which we've had some some spectacular high grades. Uh, Golden Glove was was uh, discovered late last year, a similar kind of scenario. Only this time the the visible gold and was was in a quartz vein outcrop. And uh, we are drilling there right now. We've, we've drilled three holes and we're about to start the fourth. And uh, the pristine target, um, that was, that was uh, developed through following up till, till where we had a lot of pristine gold grains um, in those till samples, hence the name the pristine target. I really do believe that we are we're still going to see a lot more discoveries along both the Appleton Fault and hopefully now along this, this Gabbro trend. I, I think, and I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but I suspect that these Gabbros are coming up along another structure and that structure and the Gabbro trend will probably show us some more, some more gold mineralization before we're done. So yeah, two two trends, if you like, that are that are very prospective, and we're going to be hitting it really hard this uh, this spring and summer with uh, with prospecting and mapping to develop drill targets all along both of those trends.
Well, and there is still a lot of drilling planned, right? The company is really just in the middle, still arguably the early stages of this 100,000 meter drill program. So just remind everybody where the drills are going to be turning in the next couple months. Yes, we are about 40,000 meters into the 100,000 meter program right now. And uh, the drills, like I said, the one drill that's at, at Midway will be more of a regional, regionally focused drill. We'll have one uh, at Golden, Golden Glove, two at Big Vane, and one at, one at the Pristine Target. So that's, that's where we're going to be focused the next, uh, next couple of months. After that, we will be looking at more targets that we, that we have developed and that we have already got permitted. And so uh, once, once the drilling at Midway is finished, we can move on to the following target. So um, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of drilling to be done over the course of this year. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to continue getting successful, successful results from these holds. Okay, Roger, we'll wrap it up here. I will post a link to that news release that outlines this new discovery at Midway. And it sounds like I'll be having you back on the show pretty much in the near term as more drill results come out from Midway and some of the other areas on the project. And the drilling, it is just going to continue throughout this year. So, Roger, keep us up to date on future news. If anybody has any questions for Roger regarding any of the work going on, Within Labrador Gold, please email me, fleck at kereport.com. I will get those addressed for you, and again, we'll follow up as more news hits the market. Roger, thanks again for your time. Have a great rest of your week. Thanks, Corey. Same to you.